So I thought I would show you how I take instant ramen and make it really good, like restaurant ramen. Our secret ingredient, this is the flavor that you probably recognize from most Chinese food. Hi guys, my name is Abby, um, Cheeto Ego on the internet. I am a social media strategist. I specialize in TikTok campaigns. Love TikTok, always TikToking, especially now I'm TikToking all the time. But I'm adapting to working from home and as we are. And my favorite part about work um, usually was lunch and picking out what I would go to get lunch at. So today I wanted to show you guys how to take a normal instant ramen package and throw some things in there, add a little love, a little spice, and come out with something that's really almost decadent and filling and we add vegetables so we get a little nutrient. It's just a total break from your day and a refresher. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to make super good ramen, so stay tuned. It's veggie ramen today, but you can add literally anything. I'm partnering with Shaperman to just bring you guys some useful content. I think this is something you'll enjoy and you can go try tomorrow for lunch. I'm excited to be working with Shaperman. They totally get that everybody's in this together and this is a rough time, but we gotta just adjust and we're doing that. Hi guys, I'm in my kitchen. I am wearing an outfit that is all one color and it is lunchtime. So I thought I would show you how I take ramen, normal instant ramen and make it really good, like restaurant ramen. We're gonna start with my favorite ramen at the moment. I'll give you a second to really look at that because it's adorable. This is a really spicy ramen, but the thing about spicy ramen is most of them are spicy. The good ones are spicy, but it's not the noodles that are spicy, it's the seasoning. So if you're not a spice person, just don't add all of the spice. A little trick. Other things we need, our secret ingredient, this is a huge one. If you guys could order this off Amazon or get some, it changes your whole meal. This is sesame oil. This is the flavor that you probably recognize from most Chinese food. When you order out or go to a restaurant, sesame oil is usually in there and you will definitely recognize this flavor and it brings your ramen just together. So if you're a spicy girl, I love adding chili oil. I'm a big fan of chili oil. This one's from Trader Joe's Chili Onion Crunch. I'm almost out, which is a big issue, but this is another one I have, so we're okay. But I always add this in my pot too because I really like it spicy. Pepper, of course, salt, this salt, go figure, has chili in it, but any salt is good. Um, onion powder is better, but this is onion salt. If you have onion powder, go for it. And sesame seeds for the top. Okay, extra ingredients, because you really gotta spice it up and just make it more interesting than just your usual ramen, is an onion. Obviously, onions last forever around your house, so hopefully you have an onion around. And an egg, this is not yet hard boiled, but it's gonna be a six minute egg. We'll get into that later, but right now it's just a normal egg and we will boil it so it falls perfectly over the ramen and really gives it the restaurant look. This is like the Instagram egg. This makes the ramen really cute. And then if I didn't mention already, we do have garlic because we love the flavor and we just have to add it to everything we do forever. And then as far as getting extra nutrition from the ramen, we're gonna add frozen vegetables and fresh spinach. If you have any frozen spinach works too, just try to pull some vegetables here. This will really take you up a notch. Okay, so it's a lot of ingredients. Don't get overwhelmed. They're all stuff you probably have in your cabinets. This stuff lasts forever. I'm gonna show you the spread. Spinach, frozen veggies, garlic, ramen of course, an onion, an egg, some onion stuff, some onion stuff sesame oil, sesame seeds, chili oil, salt, pepper. Boom. Okay, so you're gonna need a pot for your egg so you can boil an egg and you're gonna need a pan for everything else. So get those. The first thing we're gonna do and put on the heat is a little bit of sesame oil in our pan and then the onion and then the garlic. You're now gonna put in the chili onion crunch and I live and die for this product. And if you don't have it, you need to go get it. Next up, we're gonna add spinach and we're gonna add our frozen vegetables because we're gonna try to get as much nutrients in this as possible. Okay, so you can hear that sizzling. We're gonna open up the ramen. I'm gonna show you what comes in it if you don't already know. Um, this 
is the chicken flavor, and this is Spicy Mama. This is all of the oils and the stuff that really give it a kick. So go easy on this if you don't want to feel all the spice. Also, I don't know if it's like weird, but I love ramen noodles. I mean, they're not cooked, it's like potato chips, but like. Now what you're gonna do is take water and put it in there. That's gonna become your broth. So after everybody got a good little sizzle in the pan, we added a cup of water, which is gonna become our broth. I don't like my ramen that juicy. I like it pretty much noodly. So that is up to you. If you put more water in there, you're gonna have more of a soup. Now we are gonna put this egg in the boiling water for six minutes on the money. It's important you set a timer because we want a runny yolk. If you don't want a runny yolk, keep it in longer, but a runny yolk is super good with ramen. So that's what you want. All right, we're gonna take our dry ramen noodles and put them into our little mix. And they're gonna start to steam. It does not take a long time for these guys to cook. Okay, next up, add all the powdery stuff because it's the most delicious thing ever. That's that chicken and sodium and everything that we love to love. And this is the spice stuff. So if you do this at your own discretion, I'm gonna use like just a good squeeze, not the whole bag. We're gonna cover up the ramen so it gets a little tender. They're starting to get tender, so we're just gonna try to break them up a little bit. They should break apart pretty naturally. If you crunch them, it'll end up breaking the noodle, which is fine, but it depends on if you want long noodles in your bowl or not. We'll give everything a stir. You'll see that that red color is coming from that oil packet, because I keep saying it's that spice stuff, so that's where this color is coming from. So we just got our notification about our eggs, so we are gonna get her out of there. Stop the cooking. I just put some cold water in there and we'll deal with we'll deal with that later. Okay, so as I was saying, I like my ramen noodley and not so soupy. So I don't put a ton of water in there, but feel free to pour a whole bunch of water in if you are a soup person. If you're in the mood for soup, just put in more water and it turns into broth. Ooh, baby. All right, we're almost done. That's two big handfuls of spinach. So there's definitely a little bit of good stuff in there and peas and carrots clearly. And who doesn't love a good onion? Gonna crack this egg. Okay, we're gonna cut her open real gently over our bowl. Boom, look at that. Place her on top and then Everything but the bagel seasoning, this is what you top the egg with. Then some sesame seeds, pepper. And there we have it. That's the finished product. It's totally delicious. So much flavors in this buddy and it's a really wholesome meal. So it feels like you cooked, but it clearly only took a few minutes. Thanks for watching guys. This is a really good meal to make because in the middle of working from home or watching Netflix, you can pop up and go make yourself a really quick meal that tastes like it came from a restaurant and then get back to it. I'll try it with you. Mm. And she's spicy, just how we like it. I wanna thank you guys for watching and Shaper Mint for giving us content that we need right now. Stay positive, stay light. It's, it's all happening. We just gotta do it day by day. And if you found this useful, go ahead and share it with your friends. And if you have questions, you can comment them. And you know, we're just here to spread the message that times are tough, but we can have great moments in our day and, and do things that make us feel good as an act of self-care. I'm always eating and posting. So if you want to follow me, I'm at Cheeto Ego um, on Instagram. I'll comment below so you can see me there. But thanks, guys.